Well, Matt, what a performance. Five centuries. Only two other people have done that in a best 11. Judd Trump and Fergal O'Brien. How, how does it feel? It feels really nice to uh, you know, go on a break building rampage, if you want to call it that. You know, I've not really had that many centuries in my career. So to add five to the tally in one game is obviously I'm delighted with, with, the, with the breaks that I made, yeah. What do you think? It's obviously a pretty remarkable performance, and you know we don't see that level of centuries in the, in these matches very often. What do you think that it was that clicked for you today? Um, I just think you know it was a game where you know every time I made a mistake, I wasn't really punished, so the pressure wasn't really there in that regards to you know potting the balls, but to keep my concentration for that amount of time and make that many centuries, I'm, I'm very proud of that, definitely. Yeah, and you, you must just be proud to be in the, the history books for something. It, it's not, you know, it's very rare that people make these sorts of records, these sorts of achievements, and it's nice, nice to have one by your name. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've not left my mark on the game. I probably won't do by the time my career's finished. So, you know, to have something in the record books that can't be taken away like that, hoping someone don't make six this week. Ronnie probably will do, or Judd. You know, he could probably make seven in a best of 11. Is that good? But, you know, it's nice to it's nice to, to get my name etched in somewhere, uh, and you know, just for my own personal satisfaction as well. You know, I, I'm you know I'm not going to give the old cliche of what you can do in practice, but I, I make quite a lot of tons in practice, but I don't tend to do it in tournament. You know, that was a match where it was always going to be an opportunity to score heavy. Um, but you know, going forward, it's just one match. It's nice to do it, but you know, I'd like to be able to produce that you know a bit more often to be sure. And it, it, this season is is unprecedented times for. All of society, it's unprecedented times for snooker. How, how have you found it so far this season? It's been a strange environment. Snooker wise or life wise? Both. Uh, I mean, I, I think we're very, very, very fortunate to have this facility here. Um, I said it from day one, it, it's such a big advantage to, to have a facility where you can stay on site. I know uh, some people are travelling back and forth to, just to be able to have the opportunity to play and, and to be in, a, in an environment where, you know, the tables stay here, they don't get moved about. So, you know, the tables have been. You know, the, heart, the table fit has got a lot of work to go for and sometimes the tables don't really play as well as they should do. But, you know, to have this facility where you can just leave them uh, and we're all on site, we're very lucky to play. I think it's, it's a great achievement from everyone that's putting the tournament together, including the hotel and the staff here. Life-wise, uh, I mean, I quite like it, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm getting to spend a lot more time with my little boy, which is obviously, um, you know, massive for me. And my wife, she's doing such a great job at home looking after him. So, you know... You know that that in that sense it's it's good for me, but you know a lot of people are struggling out there, uh, and understandably, and I just don't know what's going to happen going forward. You know I'm not really one to looking into what's going on and, and what the politicians are doing, but you know for us as snooker players to have the opportunity to go to work and earn money, I think we're very fortunate. And on the table for you going forward, how, how easy when you have such an extraordinary performance like that, how easy is it to follow up and go, go ahead? Does it give you real confidence for the rest of the week? Or is um, it, kind of... it gave me confidence in some respect because I've been working on something since I lost to John the other day and, and everything I worked on in that sense seemed to be going right. But we'll see in the next game, you know, how it pans out. You know, I'm not expecting to play like that again, but, you know, there were signs in there that the things that I were working on were, were coming to fruition. But, you know, on the back tables, I'm pretty good. As soon as I get on the TV table, I'm absolutely garbage. So it's, that's the thing we need to change, or well, me, going forward. What things have you been tweaking or are they under wraps? Yeah, just, it's just my sighting, really. You know, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of work with sight right again. Um, they give us a little instrument, it's called the pocket sight right. And I've been doing my own thing with that over the last few days, which have shown where I've been so far offline. Um, you know, I think I'm in the middle and I'm way off, so I've just been working on hitting more in the middle, which doesn't look like the middle to me. That's why that match was quite a nice match to play because I could go out there and, and aim where I didn't think was middle. I don't want to bore you with it, but that was the middle and, you know, five tons prove it. What an extraordinary display today, Matt. Well done. Thank you. Cheers, Rob.